In terms of administration, Poland is divided into 16 voivodeships. Poland may also be divided into different regions, which are geographically, historically and culturally specific. Wielkopolska, Great Poland, is the area where the earliest Polish nationality was born. The city of Gniezno was the first capital of the country. This is where, in the 10th century, the christening of Poland took place. The Great Poland Uprising against Germany took place in 1918. It was the only victorious Polish uprising. Poznań, which functions as the capital of the region, is the city of hardworking and enterprising people. This is where Poznań International Fair takes place. In the 11th century, Krakow in Małopolska, a lesser Poland, became the capital of Poland. The city was the seat of Polish rulers who lived in King's Castle on the hill of Wawel. Cathedral, where kings and known Pauls are buried, is located on Wawel. Mammoth's bones, or as some say, dragon's bones, hang over the doors to the cathedral on strong chains. Market, Old Town and Kazimierz, the former Jewish district, attract millions of tourists. The oldest university in Poland, Jagiellonian University, is also located in Krakow. Warsaw is the capital of the region Mazowsze, Mazowia, and since the end of the 16th century it is also the capital of Poland. King's Castle, Cathedral, an old town are the landmarks of the city. However, all this is a reconstruction, as during the Second World War, Warsaw was completely destroyed. Currently, Warsaw is a dynamic and modern city. The number of its inhabitants, as well as skyscrapers, grow unceasingly. Varmian Mazurian Voivodeship is located north from Mazovia, the land of forests and lakes. It is also known as the Green Lungs of Poland. This is where one can sail on Mazurian lakes, organize kayaking trips or cruises on the intricate river and canal system. Ostruda Elbląg Canal is the only canal in the world where ships climb up the incline on land by moving on rails. A rail rope system in the canal was built in the 19th century. Agglomeration of three cities, Gdańsk, Sopot and Gdynia, lies at the seaside. It is called Trójmiasto. Over half kilometer long wooden pier and song festival, held since 1962, became the symbols of Sopot. Gdańsk is the biggest harbor city in Poland. In the past, this was a rich merchant city where many nationalities lived for centuries. Historic Neptune Fontaine is located in the center of the city. The first independent social movement, Solidarność, was born in Gdańsk shipyard in 1980. The eastern wall of Poland consists of the following regions. Podlasie, Lubelszczyzna and Podkarpacie. This area is less populated, with beautiful nature and picturesque villages where Eastern Orthodox churches can be found. Białowieża Forest lies at the border between Poland and Belarus. It is the last piece of so-called primary forest present in this area for thousands of years. This is where the biggest European population of European bisons of southeast end of Poland consists of Bieszczady mountain range. Those are wild mountains, extensive and covered in dense forest. This is where the biggest number of bears in Poland live. Górny Śląsk Upper Silesia is the most urbanized and populated area. This is where coal, iron ore, mines and metallurgic industry are located. People inhabiting Upper Silesia are called Ślązacy, Silesians. They possess their own traditions, culture and language. Silesian cuisine is very interesting, as it constitutes a gastronomic mixture of Polish, German and Czech cuisine. While visiting Silesia, one should necessarily taste meat roll, traditional red cabbage, modra kapusta, blood sausage, krupniok, or black dumplings, czarne kluski. The western strip of Poland is sometimes called post-German lands because those areas were connected to Poland after the Second World War. The area is dominated by typical brick German and Prussian architecture. Those are also the areas covered with dense forest and Sudeten mountain range still guard many secrets which attract aficionados in search of Hitler's underroom. Poland is a very diversified country in terms of nature, landscape, 
history, monuments and people. Everybody will find here something interesting. Feel welcome. Thank <laughs> you.